Hey everyone, thanks for checking out this video. Uh, we have here is a Dell Inspiron 11 3000 series uh, with a busted jack. As you can see, the whole center piece is missing. Um, so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to take this apart and replace the jack, which is fairly simple. As you can see, there's just three screws on the top, three screws in the middle, and three screws in the bottom. Now, the screw in the middle does have a sticker on it that, you know, just use a pair of tweezers and we can remove that. Honestly, I don't know if all the screws are supposed to have stickers and they've just fallen out over time. Um, but in this case, there was a sticker there and there was a screw underneath it. So with that screw removed, now just take a spudger or some kind of pry tool and uh, just work it along the seams of the laptop to kind of loosen the bottom bezel out and uh, remove it. So as you can see, just kind of going along the sides, unclipping all the clips using the spudger. Um, as you will see, that as I get towards the top of the case here, on each side, it gets a little bit more difficult. So yeah, see there's a little bit of resistance and, you know, I'm starting to think that maybe there's a screw or maybe there's a tab that I just need to, to get under there. But, uh, you know, I'm trying to get my spudger underneath there and then maybe think under the USB port, but think twice because there's no good leverage there. Um, so at this point, I think that maybe there's a screw under one of these uh, rubber feet. So I'm just going to use my tweezers and uh, get underneath one of the rubber feet and pull that up to see if there's a screw underneath it. Alright, so of course there's no screw underneath there, so now at this point I know I'm just being trolled by <laughs> this Dell laptop. Um, so still just trying to find a, a good leverage spot to get the the spudger underneath there. Um, I've never taken one of these apart before, so it's you know, a learning experience, but shouldn't be too difficult. Um, finally, I think I decide that I'm gonna try going from the top, and that's where I find another spot to release more clips and release more of the tension, and then can get this bottom piece off. So yeah, as you can see now the bottom piece comes off fairly easily. And then the first thing I'm going to want to do is uh, disconnect the battery because we don't want any uh, voltage or anything going through this machine while we're working on it. And then try and get you a closer view for the, the jack. All right, so as you can see, it's a uh, modular jack, so no soldering or desoldering will need to be done, which is always good. So now I just need to remove this connector from the board. And then with that removed, there's just one screw holding the rest of the jack in place. We'll get rid of that, and then the jack will come out freely. Um, and as you can see, it is definitely totally busted. As you can see, the center is just gone, um, especially compared to the new part, which you'll see in a second, uh, how, you know, the center housing, the center pin there, it's all nice and put together and, you know, the way it's supposed to look. Um, so now we'll just connect it to the board. Um, it's fairly simple to do, obviously. Uh, and then we'll just, you know, grab our screw and screw the jack in place. And then once the jack is screwed in place, we'll just, you know, tuck the wires uh, into position, tuck them underneath so they don't, you know, come up or anything like that. Uh, and then we'll test the machine and see if we're good. Uh, hopefully it's just that simple. Uh, looks like it's going to be just because of, uh, you know, how damaged the jack was, but sometimes they can create shorts and fry other things, uh, on the motherboard when they do go bad. Uh, so right now we're just going to want to connect the uh, battery back together and then give it a good test. 
So while we wait for this to get plugged in, I just want to apologize for all the background noise you're probably hearing, all the cars passing by. I'm going to have to look into getting a better microphone that you know blocks out background noise. Uh, if anyone has any recommendations, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. But all right, so now with this you know, battery back together here, I'm just going to put the bottom piece back on and just kind of tighten it all down. But uh, we're going to test it before we screw it all back together. Now, uh, in this case, due to personal information that the customer had uh, on top of their laptop and in plain sight, I'm just going to have to show you just the screen and not really anything else because we don't want to put their information out here on the, in this video. But as you can see, it's now turning on um, and charging. So now we're just going to put it back together and uh, that should be it. All right, so now I'm just putting this thing back together and uh, basically wrapping up this video. So I just want to thank everyone for watching and uh, hope you enjoyed it. And we hope to be able to bring you more videos like this uh, in the future. So again, thanks for watching.